Longitudinally Extensive Transverse Myelitis LETM It is an inflammatory neurological condition Look at this CT findings C spine and thoracic spine introduction LETM is a rare inflammatory neurological condition affecting the spinal cord it involves inflammation that extended over three or more vertebral segments leading to significant and often severe neurological dysfunctions. LETM can cause motor, sensory and automatic deficits, significantly impacting a person's quality of life. Definition LETM is a subtype of transverse myelitis characterized by inflammatory lessons extending longitudinally across three or more contiguous spinal cord segments. It presents with acute or subacute onset of motor, sensory and autonomic dysfunctions. Types LETM categorized based on underlying causes. First type idiopathic LETM when no underlying causes can be identified. Second, secondary LETM. It is associated with other conditions such as neuromyelitis, optical spectrum disorder, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune disease, infections, paraneoplastic syndrome. Causes LETM can result from various etiologies including 1. Autoimmune disorders condition like NM, OSD and MS second infections viral example herbus virus bacterial example tuberculosis and other pathogens Second, paraneoplastic syndrome, immunoresponses triggered by tumors. Three, vascular causes, ischemia or infraction of the spinal cord. Four, adiabatic, when no specific cause is identified 
risk factors for developing letm include one autoimmune disease history of autoimmune conditions second infections previous or concurrent infections for genetic predisposition family history of demyelinating disease by gender some underlying conditions associated with letm like nm osd are more common in women complications letm can lead to various complications one permanent neurological deficits persistent motor and sensory impairments second chronic pain due to nerve damage three autonomic dysfunction bladder bowel and sexual dysfunction four secondary infections due to immobility and autonomic dysfunction five psychosocial impacts depression and anxiety due to chronic illness and disability pathophysiology the pathophysiology of letm involves an inflammatory process that damage the myelin sheath and uh, axons and in severe cases the spinal cord tissue itself the inflammation leads to edema which further contributes to neurological deficits in condition like nmosd the immune system targets specific proteins like aqua protein 4 leading to severe and extensive spinal cord damage signs and symptoms the clinical presentation of letm includes one motor deficits weakness or paralysis in the limbs second sensory deficits loss of sensation including pain and temperature three autonomic symptoms bladder and bowel dysfunction sexual dysfunction pain severe often radicular pain lermitis signs electric shock like sensation running down the spine with neck flexion diagnosis diagnosing letm involves a combination of clinical evaluation and diagnostic test on the mri revolves longitudinally extensive lessons on the spinal cord second lumbar puncture 
அனலைஸ் செரிபிரோ ஸ்பைனல் ஃப்ளூட் சிஎஸ்எஃப் ஃபார் சயின்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ஃப்ளமேஷன் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் ஆர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் மார்க்கர்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒலிகோக்ளோனல் பேண்ட்ஸ் த்ரீ பிளட் டெஸ்ட் செக் ஃபார் ஆட்டோ எமினோ மார்க்கர்ஸ் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஆன்டிபயோடிஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எக்கோ ப்ரோட்டீன் ஃபோர் ஆன்டிபயோடிஸ் ஃபார் என்எம் ஓஎஸ்டி ஃபோர் எவோக்ட் பொட்டன்ஷியல்ஸ் அசஸ் தி கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் இம்பல்ஸ் இன் தி ஸ்பைனல் கார்ட் நர்சிங் டயக்னோசிஸ் நர்சிங் டயக்னோசிஸ் ஃபார் எல்இடிஎம் பேஷியன்ஸ் மைட் இன்க்ளூட் ஒன் இம்பயர்ட் ஃபிசிக்கல் மொபைலிட்டி டியூ டு மோட்டார் டெஃபிசிட்ஸ் செகண்ட் செல்ஃப் கேர் டெஃபிசிட் டியூ டு வீக்னஸ் அண்ட் சென்சரி லாஸ் த்ரீ க்ரானிக் பெயின் ரிலேட்டட் டு நவ் டேமேஜ் ஃபோர் ரிஸ்க் ஃபார் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் டியூ டு எ மொபைலிட்டி அண்ட் அட்டானமிக் டிஸ்ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஃபைவ் ஆங்ஸைட்டி ரிலேட்டட் டு தி சடன் ஆன்செட் ஆஃப் சிம்டம்ஸ் அண்ட் பொட்டன்ஷியல் ஃபார் க்ரானிக் disability management and treatment management of letm is involved addressing the acute inflammatory process and long term rehabilitation acute treatment uh, one corticosteroids high dose intravenous methyl pre disulfone to plasma exchange for severe cases or when not respond to steroids 3 immunosuppressive therapy in case associated with autoimmune diseases long term management physical and occupational therapy to maximize functional recovery second pain management using medications like gaba pentin pregabalin or tricyclic antidepressants three bladder and bowel management catheterization medications and bowel programs for psychological support counseling and support groups for coping with chronic illness psychosocial medicine addressing the psychosocial aspect of letm is crucial one psychological support counseling for patients and families to social support connecting patients with support groups and community resources three occupational therapy associating patients in adapting to life with disabilities for education informing patients about their condition and management strategies prevention while specific prevention strategies for letm itself are limited 
managing underlying conditions can reduce the risk. One vaccination to prevent infections that might trigger myelitis. Three, managing autoimmune disease early and effective treatment of conditions like NMOSD and MS. Three, healthy lifestyle, regular exercise, balanced diet, and avoiding smoking. In conclusion, a LETM is a severe and challenging neurological condition that requires prompt diagnosis and comprehensive management to mitigate its impact. Understanding its underlying causes, recognizing early signs and symptoms and implementing Appropriate treatment and rehabilitation strategies are essential for improving patients' outcomes. Multidisciplinary care, including medical, nursing, and psychosocial support, plays a vital role in this holistic management of LETM patients. Thank you. Have a nice day.